This is the asparagus and spring onion. So we're gonna add some olive oil into the pan. And then I start with my spring onions and with the jalapenos. I'm gonna take the stem off, the stem off the jalapenos. I cook the asparagus later because they normally take uh, less time. And I like to leave the spring onions to get some color. Um, this is something that we do a lot in Mexican sauces. We like to uh, char the vegetables because they add a lot of flavor into our salsa. Here we're going to add some fish. Yeah. So you don't want to rush it. <laughs> you want to let them get soft, but also get a bit blackened. Um, so we're going to leave this here. So if you can see here, like this is starting to get a bit uh, charred. And that's exactly what the one. Don't be afraid that it looks burnt because it's not. And trust me, that's just gonna make all the difference in your cell class. This is nearly ready. Uh, I think we can warm up some corn tortilla. So for the asparagus, you're gonna need less less time because all you want is to get them a little bit soften, and you don't want them to change much in color. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. As if you see here, so you've got uh, the jalapenos char and the spring onions. And then just a little you think that's going to be enough. So this salsa, um, I would serve this salsa with, I serve it normally with shivas, and for this, when I make it for the fish, I like to blend it like more smooth, and maybe you can add a little bit of water to make it like more runny and sweet to pour over your fish. Um, but also this is a great sauce to serve on a barbecue. So all of this is gonna go into our blender. I'll move this one on this side. Yeah, I can take it away. Let me just unfold it. Yeah, be careful, okay. Yeah, it's sort of. And then um, we're gonna add some coriander. <laughs> um, um, so here, uh, normally the beer, I would, uh, I forgot to, Add the beer in the, into the pan, but don't worry. So we're going to add a little here. And I know this might look a little bit weird. Um, normally, you can simmer it down in your pan when you're cooking your ingredients, but you can also add it fresh, and it's totally fine. <laughs> it, this is like another thing that we do in Mexico, and it's called like a drunken salsa, salsa borracha, I know. But I mean, really, you don't add a lot. It's just for light flavor. <laughs> um, so these lines are a little bit firm, but I'm going to try to squeeze some juice out of them. Would you add other alcohols or always beer? You can do mezcal. Mm -hmm. You can do tequila. And people do a lot like so sauces on the moncajete. Mm -hmm. And then they add a little bit of splash of the yeah. <laughs> beer. Add a little bit of olive oil. And then a little bit of water. Yeah. Help, help. So that's your green asparagus salsa. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the color is just beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to mix it up a bit. So we have uh, some already pan fried um, sivas here. So normally I will serve my sivas fillets. And then just add the green salsa on the top. Like this. And then you can just serve this with a green salad or 
with the potatoes like we got here. 